And Carrie Severino, she's president of the Judicial Crisis Network. There was other breaking news that we had this morning, and that is that a uh, suspect has been arrested near the home of Brett Kavanaugh. Let's bring in Carrie. Uh, you might have a little bit more details. I understand around 1.50 a.m., this individual carrying burglary tools and at least one weapon uh, was taken into custody. He said that he did want to kill Brett Kavanaugh, had a list of grievances. At the top of his list, the Roe v. Wade uh, decision that we're expecting from the court this month, as well as shootings that have happened. He wasn't specific as to which ones, but we can, unfortunately, we know that there have been many. Carrie, what do you have on your plate this morning as you think about the situation? You recently tweeted just a moment ago that you think that this Roe v. Wade decision should be released immediately as the justices' lives are in danger. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we've known that, but the, the danger is now very clearly not theoretical. And we've, we've known this for a while. Even if you have people who say they're going to be peaceful protesters, once you've docked the justices, their houses are now on camera all over, people can find them. Uh, this is not the way we should be treating our public servants. Um, this is why we don't, we, we don't have protests at their houses. This is why we should have it at the court. And this is why this decision should be released immediately until it is. Uh, the justices are under increased threat until the decision is finalized. So I would call on the chief and all of the justices at the court to uh, to release this decision immediately. And I would call on President Biden to finally condemn the uh, the outrageous protests and intimidation of the justices that are happening at the private home. This is the reason we've been saying it's it's a dangerous uh, thing to be playing with, uh, giving out the justices' addresses like this. We had just heard from Mitch McConnell. Apparently, he was speaking on the floor of the Senate. If we get a chance to turn that around for our viewers, we will do that. Uh, we mentioned Roe v. Wade, but w th this person could have had a list of grievances. Mm -hmm. Uh, gun control was another one that he apparently was reported on that he talked to police in the middle of the night about. Carrie. Uh, yeah, it, we don't we don't know all of their motivations, and unfortunately, un we, when we've seen there there are crazy people out there. We need to protect our justices, pr protect their privacy, protect their families, and we need to condemn uh, any acts of intimidation of the court. You know, I just can't. It's it's chilling to remember when Senator Schumer was standing on the steps of the Supreme Court, shaking his fist, saying, yeah, "I'm going to warn you, Kavanaugh. I'm going to warn you, Gorsuch. It, you're going to if you do this." You won't know what hit you. You're going to reap the whirlwind. What th that type of intemperate language is only going to encourage uh, people like this. I'm so grateful for the security the justices have, but uh, we should we should not be putting our public servants at risk in this way. I think the court needs to speedily uh, finish these decisions. This is why that leak was also so dangerous. Again, there are other decisions on the docket, but it, it puts into focus uh, the the threats and intimidation against the Supreme Court. Yeah. Um, listen. Um... It should be condemned, and you're exactly right about that. But just yesterday, we were doing a story on a professor at Georgetown who left his job for fear of intimidation based on what he may or may not say as a professor. Yet there's another professor at Georgetown who was tweeting about people going to the homes of Supreme Court justices and protesting outside their homes. That, that this, mm. In certain aspects of the left, this is something that is acceptable, Carrie. Yeah, it's been normalized, and it's actually, I mean, it's been encouraged. The, the, the White House has been applauding this. Uh, that's really shocking to me. We, we've seen, we've had, uh, thankfully, one statement from the Attorney General, but, you know, Attorney General Merrick Garland, he served for over a decade mm -hmm. with Justice Kavanaugh when he was in the D.C. Circuit. I would have expected a much stronger response from this administration to protect our justices. Instead, we've seen people like Jen Psaki saying, oh, well, they're just very passionate. You know, bring your passion to, to one first street, to the Supreme Supreme Court itself. Absolutely, there's a place for that. Um, I have gone there myself to, pro to protest decisions. That is, that's great, and that's fine. And peaceful protests should be encouraged. But not taking it to the justices' homes, that inherently is threatening, and it opens the door for individuals uh, like this uh, man that was, that was arrested last night, who obviously did not have peaceful protest in mind. Carrie, thank you for coming on with us as this news broke uh, in the last 40 minutes. We appreciate you, and I'm sure we'll see you again later today.